now i am calling requesting comrade r chandrasekharan national vice president of i to see to deliver brief speech in the 42nd so, session of i to see president of the function at uc national president and uh, our sister comrade amarjit kaur general secretary of all india trade union congress comrade kanam revered uh, friends from the other trade union organizations fraternal delegates including wtf general secretary and my dear colleagues and uh, brothers and sisters i can see several big leaders sitting to attend this program kai ismail and other senior leaders uday bhanu i was asking uday bhanu is also here i think so at the outset i pay my regards my respect and my best wishes to the aitc national conference that is being held in alappi kerala state alappi is the founder soil of the trade union movement in the country particularly in the state of kerala i was carefully listening sister amarjit kaus remarks about the present labor situation in the country we have no difference of opinion now everybody is united though bms is little away from us unnikrishna unnithan is sitting here i know but all are together in raising our voice against the anti labor policies of the narendra modi government particularly we all know the past decades of governance in the country polity in the country naturally there were lot of differences between the trade unions not only the trade unions between the political parties the trade unions always follow certain ideologies some political ideologies that political ideologies have differed because of lot of other reasons after independence before independence also when the struggle for independence was going on difference of opinion cropped up and uh, that has been a pathway for the political parties and also followed by the trade unions but that time all the political parties other than the indian national congress was more or less united to oppose the indian national congress that was the politics on those days that was lasted till 2014 i should say between there were lot of governments came into power so different governments coming into power displayed their governance their commitment their policies that just given a chance to differentiate to understand what is the congress party was doing what mistake they have committed what was the plus and minus of the continuous government 
in the in this in our great country i should say that we are now equally concerned because now we are witnessing an entirely different uh, government entirely different uh, policies entirely different ideologies so there is none there is no difference of opinion about this present government that they are totally anti labor they are doing whatever they want to avoid the labor voice madam was telling about the labor consultations tripartite system periodical meetings with the trade unions to understand the problems raised by the labor we were all trying for betterment in the future for labor now we are we are struggling for protecting the rights which has been achieved by us now that is also under severe threat major attack on the rights we have already attained labor laws are totally changed public sector companies are totally being privatized we can understand the continuous loss making public sector companies if that is gone for privatization or disinvestment or some other, uh, some other methodology or diversification expansion whatever it may be but unfortunately now this government has started selling indiscriminately selling the public sector companies which is making huge profits so what is the meaning of this development what is their position in the international area wtf general secretary and fraternal delegates are here what they actually take the position when un is discussing the labor matter in un in ilo in other all other international forums our governments including prime minister of india ministers government officials they when they attend the international meetings they fully support the labor cause including 2030 agenda of decent uh, job and decent life when this government agree for implementing decent job in india in this country also what actually is taking after they come back to this land what is their approach everybody has to understand that there is no other way but to strengthen our unity you know we are i represent the international trade union congress you can understand we have started our joint trade union platform during the year of 2010 onwards that time the government was run by upa indian national congress was heading the government that doesn't matter for intuc to bring about some sort of understanding some coordinated feeling to oppose the anti labor policies brought in by bringing in by any government in the country i am very much happy to note that all the trade unions including iitu ccitu hms seva and other organizations they always appreciate the stand taken by intuc today dr sanjeev reddy 
wanted to come here. Sanjeev Reddy was not able to come here. That's why I am directed to come here and address. The same time, same day, CITU State Conference is also in Calicut. They are also, it, they are very particular that we should attend there also, but it is not possible. Aleppi and Calicut is not a nearby area. But I prefer, I have attended their seminar in Calicut Day for Today. I have attended AITUC seminar in Trivandrum. So I have decided to come here because it is a national conference. It was my privilege to come and see all of all my friends. All are Mahadevan, Giri, everybody is very close friends of mine. Fortunately, I got an opportunity to serve in INLO for about seven years. After that, I said, no, I don't want to continue because Amarajit Kavar knows the reason. I am not interested in continuing. They are going for a typical type of government-controlled mechanism. Government-controlled mechanism means I cannot, you know, I, I hope that I allow... Thank you, thank you. Can you, can you hear me? Okay. A government-controlled mechanism. Because they are the owner of the organization because they only donate, they only contribute money for them. So whatever these governments, state governments, in, uh, national governments, doing against the labor, unfortunately, our international system is not able to understand, not able to interfere. That is quite unfortunate. The development takes place that the governments are becoming very powerful. The trade unions are forced to become weak. Why it is happening? There are three major partners in the, in the show. One is the government, no doubt about it. One is the government, second one is the investor. Whether it is government, whether it is private party or company, whatever it may be. Third one is the labor. All these three partners work together, respect each other, consider mutually, consult each other, then only things will be going in a very progressive manner. Otherwise, this will, the entire thing will collapse. So today or tomorrow or day after, in India that will happen. Because the government goes on creating a problem, creating an atmosphere which is not guaranteed the rights achieved by the workers in the country. That will not be allowed to continue long. Because the labor will come together. That is the that is the show of strength in different countries. We have witnessed a lot of changes in a lot of countries. This government, I have to appeal to the government. Whatever you decide, whatever you are implementing, whatever is your policy, may be based on the Sangabari War or RSS. But the, this is not the way for, for, the, for, the, for the progress of the Bharat Rajya. It is something different. This approach will never strengthen this country. Otherwise, it will be ruining the country. Look at the manufacturing sector, important exports. Look at the financial sector. What is the currency value? How there is a devaluation happens? 
what happened after the currency is withdrawn what happened the wrong gst is implemented it is totally against the poor and labor that we can, this philosophy this policy we cannot we can never agree with that so friends we are expecting very good decisions very powerful decisions in the convention which madam has announced on the 30th of january 20, 2023 we will go go accordingly the decision taken in the national convention i want to make very clear understanding intuc is always whatever politics come in whichever government com comes in today a government bjp government tomorrow whatever happened congress comes back whichever governments come with anti labor policies wrong policies against the workers and poor indc will stand up and say no to that developments no to that reforms i fully endorse the view taken by aitc that is the pioneer organization 102 years old pioneer organization that organization being their state and national conference as well i appeal to all the people erase our differences erase our political mindsets erase our past feelings come together the entire working force of this country will march ahead and see that this government is sent away from the power in 2020 2024 for that i wish all your all you the consolidated effort of labor movement and also to come to bring about unity among the political organizations also that is not a small thing we have to talk about the unity by using the labor strength and communist organizations atc or cit i know that their political parties first and foremost important organization they always consider the trade unions in our party it, it may not be like that but still we want to work together and i wish all the best in our future struggles and uh, our our success in our demands i hope all these delegates including the fraternal delegates will be a very very happy stay in alappi and i also wish them a good stay comfortable stay wish you all success thank you jai hind thanks